Let yourself feel something, anything. Stop trying to push down all of the bad things you've been through. Stop trying to ignore it. And this is not only a message to people that are watching, but a message to me. Stop it. And just feel everything. Feel life at its utmost intensity. Because life is ruled by emotions. It's ruled by the, by the moments that we experience and the emotions they make us feel. What a wonderful thing to be alive and to feel all of the vast emotions that exist the happiness, the euphoria that we feel during like certain things that we do and even the pain and the suffering. And sometimes when I go through my most terrible, my most traumatic moments, I think to myself, this is what it's like to be alive. And if something was able to hurt me this much, to hurt me in such a terrible, horrific way, it must mean that there was some good to it. If I could feel this immense pain, this immense suffering, it must have come from something good or it must mean something good because there is no bad without good, I don't think. I think we often do a disservice to ourselves. We don't let ourselves experience all the things that we could experience. We don't let ourselves feel all of the things that we could feel because it hurts us. It hurts us immensely. And I don't blame you. And I think it's easy, you know, I think it's easy to just ignore everything, shove shit down, and just distract ourselves with other things. I think it's easier to live life that way. And I think a lot of people have become uh, incapable of knowing how they feel of being emotional and letting themselves feel life. I think it's so important to just let yourself feel. Let yourself like bask in the moment of whatever emotion that you're feeling, good or bad or terrible or amazing or euphoric or absolutely the worst fucking shit you've ever experienced. But that's life. Life is made up of emotions, it's made out of feelings, it's made up of how we experience life. And the way we experience life is so different from one another. And I think to be able to share that is such a wonderful thing, no? I think it would be easy, you know, for somebody to disagree with me, to just say, Alex, like, why would you feel anything? That's not the logical thing to live life through, that's not the logical way to live. And I think someone who might be a little bit more logic brain would say, well, Alex, like feelings aren't logical. Feelings aren't uh, real. Feelings are simply like a perception of your own subconscious that you showcase to the world based off of the things that you experience. And with that, I would say that you're right. You're right. But I think if we focus too much on the logic side of life, on the factual base on on things that are so minute kind of soulless there's almost no point to living that's why love is the most painful wonderful thing that could ever exist or that we could ever experience in our lives and is something that has lived on and will continue to live on and is ever-changing this feeling this emotion this this thing that exists that we cannot grasp is considered to be one of the most amazing, most beautiful things to ever exist. And what a wonderful thing that we get to experience love. And even the most logical, the most scientific, the most pragmatic people in this world will tell you that love is probably one of the most amazing things that you could experience. But love isn't factual, isn't logical, it just exists. Such as the emotions that we experience, they just simply exist. And if you can go outside today and you could just feel the wind on your skin, you could just smell the breeze, smell the nature, the water. I'm right by this little, little creek 
and I'm surrounded by nature and just the ducks coming in and out of the water, quacking about and doing just being able to observe life and truly feel like you are part of it, part of this wonderful nature that just simply exists and we're just here experiencing it. And what a wonderful thing to live and to feel. And I think that's what makes us human is our ability to feel nothing else, at least to me, matters. And sometimes it's such a shame when I'm talking to someone and they're almost incapable of accessing that part of themselves, that emotional part of themselves, that sensitive part of themselves, that sort of soulful part of themselves. And I get it. That's the worst part. I get it. I get it why you wouldn't want to. I get it why it's difficult. I get why <laughs> there's so many things and so many factors that go behind it. I get it. But sometimes I listen to a good song and I get brought to tears. And I think to myself, thank God I'm alive to feel this. Thank God. So let yourself feel. Once in a while, let yourself be taken away by the world that exists. Let yourself feel all the terrible, horrible, wonderful things that you experience because that is what life is. And that is what makes you human and that's what makes you alive. It is the emotions, it is the things that you feel, the moments that you experience, the in and out of good and bad, the turbulent emotions, the things that make you feel alive are the things that don't make any sense really. And life is beautiful. Life is filled with tragedy and beauty. And I feel grateful on some days, not always. On some days, I feel grateful to be alive. I feel grateful that I get to experience this life. I feel grateful that although all the shit that's happened to me, I'm still here and I'm still experiencing this wonderful life and all its complexities and all its wonder and all its mystery. I'm lucky I get to sit here and look at these ducks over there and they're just quacking about, swimming along, doing their thing. And I get to just sit here and watch them. Thank God that we are able to feel. Thank God that we are able to experience all the things that we get to experience. Thank God that we are alive. So let yourself feel. Let yourself feel everything. Let yourself accept yourself. For all the emotional parts that are within you. Because that's what it means to live, I think. And that's who I want to be. And that's what I want to do. I like a good cry sesh. I feel like the more we ignore our inner parts, our inner sufferings, the dark self, I guess you will, if you will. The more we ignore this part of ourselves, this part of ourselves that experiences life, that feels emotions, that feels life, the more we suppress it, the more we ignore it, the, the less we get to experience life in its authentic form. And what a disservice that would be. And for a long time, I felt really shitty about myself because I felt this way because I'm emotional, because I get sensitive, or because I feel too much. And then I realized how lucky I was, how lucky I was to feel this way, how lucky I am to feel this way. Because if I didn't, life wouldn't be so colorful, I think. So if you feel bad about being sensitive or being too emotional or whatever it is, just know that you see life in such a colorful way, in such a way that is tragic and more painful, but all the more beautiful. Because I would rather sit here and suffer 
both with pain and agony, but happiness and euphoria, than to just feel nothing. And believe me, I have days where I do feel like nothing. Where it feels like nothing. And then I remind myself, life isn't nothing. Life is everything. We ourselves are everything. Because we are a reflection of life. Anyway, uh, I don't know if this made any sense or whatnot, but uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.